now I am in uh, Arches National Park and I am on the Devil's Garden Loop and I am doing the primitive loop so tons of people here as soon as I hit this primitive loop uh, they're all gone I can kind of see why with uh, it's like hiking at the beach probably six inches of sand so it's slow going but there are no people so it's great I got in about um, 7 30 this morning to Arches National Park and the campsite I was looking for it's called the Devil's Garden Primitive Campsite it's off the primitive loop here but uh, you can't reserve it it's walk in only so walked in this morning luckily it was available for two nights now I'm hiking to my uh, campsite it's about three and a half miles away uh, not too bad except for the six chances of just sand but it is beautiful it's beautiful out here and uh, so yeah looking forward to uh, my trip Looking to do a little more exploring today and tomorrow. So, see you on the trail. All right, I have arrived here at the Devil Garden campsite. And uh, a lot of restrictions here. I can only uh, pitch a tent on this slick rock here. So my stakes aren't gonna go through the rocks. So they have these little rocks that you can use to uh, help tie down your uh, tent so we'll see how well that holds up there's some pretty good heft to them so we'll see winds blowing fairly decent right now it comes and goes and uh, we'll just see how it holds up through the night but first time doing this <clears throat> getting everything set up and uh, good to go here the uh, end of the day and I was hoping to see the uh, sunrise but unfortunately there are too many rocks in the way so what I was doing was I was climbing up as far as I could this way and there's just there's just more rocks blocking the sunset sunset doesn't set for another half hour but it's not gonna be setting over the horizon from where I'm at but anyway not a bad view, hike up here. Um, it's definitely worth it. Hoping to see a sunset, but uh, this ain't bad either. Morning everybody. Had a pretty good night's sleep. Uh, temperature was great. Probably getting to the mid 50s last night. So uh, that was wonderful. Got up, hit the trail about 7.30 this morning. And uh, today, just gonna be exploring arches. Arches National Park, so it's going to be Arch Day today. But uh, this is a beautiful little loop here, Devil's Garden Loop. Uh, really fun to just explore and climbing over boulders. I love hikes like this. Makes me feel like a kid again and just climbing rocks, climbing to the top of you know little mountains. It's uh, it's fun. So, probably got about two miles left of this trail. Actually, I see an arch coming up. So, yeah, a couple miles left of this trail. I'm going to go hit some of the more famous uh, sites in the park. And uh, just be exploring today. Going to enjoy today, enjoy the weather. As you can see, blue skies, hardly any clouds. A little bit of wind right now it's probably I don't know 65 70 degrees it's perfect hiking weather so all right let me get back to the trail as I'm going uphill all right a little uh, side trail off of the the devil's garden loop here we got a few of them here so let's take the time and explore 
This one is called the uh, Dark Angel Trail. And that right there, what's in the center of your frame, I believe, is the Dark Angel. I guess because it's all dark and everything. So that's where I'm heading at right now. Okay, I'm just about four tenths of a mile. But uh, anyway, I can tell you right now as I'm coming upon this turn here, I don't know if the Dark Angel is worth it. But this view right here ain't too bad. Now this would have been a great place to see the sunset last night. Wow, it's beautiful. I will say it is much more impressive when you get up to it. I don't think you realize the size of that. I mean, that looks like it's a, I don't know, 10 story building, 15 story building there. But yeah, it's a massive piece of rock just balancing there. Welcome to the Dark Angel. All right, they call this the, uh, the double O arch. You see the big one on top, smaller one there on the bottom. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is such a fun little trail. See those, you can see the people walking right there. That's where I'm headed. Walking on little ridges like that. Up and down those boulders. So cool. Views ain't bad either. This is called the uh, Black Arch Overlook. You can see there in the center frame. It's hard to tell because there's no light behind it, but there is a little arch. Almost looks like the uh, private arch I went to uh, last time, but maybe it's different. All right. This is my trail on the fin of the rock. I guess this is what they call pretty narrow. I can handle this, it's not a problem. But it's pretty cool. Alright, I'm on the other side of Partition Arch. You can see it much better. The other one's a little backlit, so it gets a little dark. But uh, I crawled through the arch. It opens up to some amazing, impressive views. Like I said, you can see the trail down there. You can see the parking lot about a mile left. Got one more arch in here on the Devil's Garden Loop. Uh, landscape arch, I think it's a huge arch when we first come in. We'll go check that out here in a second. Some pretty steep climb here on a fin. Luckily, I'm coming down. Should have the uh, landscape arch in view here in a bit. I think when I get down to the bottom there, I can see it. But uh, pretty cool. Ah, uh, landscape arch. Last arch on our uh, hike today, or on this trail, I should say, on the Devil Garden Loop Trail. That one is impressive. I think it's one of the longest arches in the world. I don't think it's the longest, but it's pretty cool. Almost to the trailhead.
cool. Alright, getting time for me to find some AC. Rest a little bit and go find another find another trail. I think the next one we're looking at is called Balanced Rock. Another one of the more popular things to look at. Alright folks, uh, we're on the next trail, the Balanced Rock Trail. And as you can see it's halfway named. Um, a little short trail, probably half a mile loop around this uh, balanced rock. If you look, if you can see, there's some crumbling rocks <laughs> underneath it. And I don't know how much longer that's going to be balanced up there. But uh, it is pretty cool. But it is. It seems to be precariously hanging on. Yeah, short little trail. Paved sidewalk. Very visitor friendly here. folks last hike of the day this one's called Park Avenue and uh, supposed to have something called the three gossips it looks like three ladies gossiping um, and it has a courthouse so not quite sure what all that is all about but um, yeah this is kind of uh, what I'm looking at here it's kind of I'm about to hike down into something and uh, um, this is my last hike for the day. It's going to be about a couple miles, a little less. But uh, I'll be done about 2 or 3 o'clock. And then it's time to rest. The sky is very blue today. It's beautiful. The car said it was about 82 degrees. I might have to disagree with that. It feels a little bit more like in the 90s. Um, but the shade does feel nice when you can find a tree big enough to, to give you some shade. It is cool. It is cool in here. It's uh, like you're surrounded, like you're in a bowl, uh, a bowl in the canyon. Because you're just completely surrounded by these cool, high rock walls. Well, this is my final mile in Arches. See that little gap right there in the center? That is where I am hiking to. That's where the parking lot is at. That is where I'm going. Slight upgrade. A uh, little bit of elevation, about 300 feet, I think it said. No big deal. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to try to take my time and enjoy this. Just enjoy being in here. Alright, I think that last 300 feet elevation gain was all right in those steps. But a great hike. Enjoyed it. Now it's time to say goodbye, Arches.